education seems to be one of the greatest weapons a person could ever have. I am Sir CJ, your understanding culture, society, and politics teacher. Welcome to the Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics Alternative Delivery Mode on Functions and Importance of Education. This module was designed to provide you with fun and meaningful learning opportunities for guided and independent learning at your own time and pace. You will be enabled to process the contents of the learning resource while being an active learner. This module has the following parts. First, what I need to know. This will give you an idea of the skills or competencies you are expected to learn in the module. Next, what I know. This part includes an activity that aims to check what you already know about the lesson to take. If you get all the answers correct, 100%, you may decide to skip this module. Next is what's in. This is a brief drill or review to help you link the current lesson with the previous one. Another one is what's new. In this portion, the new lesson will be introduced to you in various ways, such as story, a song, a poem, or a problem opener, an activity, or a situation. Another part is what is it. These sections provides a brief discussion of the lesson. This aims to help you discover and understand new concepts and skills. Another one is what's more. This comprises activities for independent practice to solidify your understanding and skills of the topic. You may check the answers to the exercises using the answer key at the end of the module. Another one is what I have learned. These include questions or blank sentence, paragraph to be filled in to process what you learned from the lesson. Another one, what I can do. This section provides an activity which will help you to transfer your knowledge or your new knowledge or skills into real-life situation or concerns. And of course, we have the assessment. This is a task which aims to evaluate your level of mastery in achieving the learning competency. We also have an additional activities. In this portion, Another activity will be given to you to enrich your knowledge or skills of the lesson learned. This also tends retention of learned concept. And of course, we also included the bonus part in which this activity will be uh, given to you by your teacher according to what is needed. So now that you know the different parts of the module given to you, you are now ready to proceed or you are now ready to answer your module as you are watching this video. But before that, let me remind you of the following. The following are some reminders in using this module. As you receive your module, use the module with care. Do not put a necessary mark or marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in the module. Number three, read the instruction carefully before doing each task. Number four, observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Number five, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And number six, Return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. So if you encounter any difficulty in answering the task in this module, do not hesitate to consult your teacher or facilitator. Always bear in mind that you are not alone. So we hope that uh, through this module, you will experience meaningful learning and gain deep understanding of the relevant competencies. You can do it. The content of this video are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course following the most essential learning competency which is examine the functions and importance of education in the society alongside with the different objectives. To begin the lesson, let us watch a short movie clip about education. 
and I am encouraging everyone to participate by putting your reaction in our comment section. Plus, pass the test papers down. Yes, lucky I pass. How much do you get? Pass also. Good job! Bye. Thank you. Shalim? What happened? Let's take it one step at a time, okay? Where do earthquakes occur most often? Along the edges of tectone... Tectonic. Tectonic plates. Do you understand what it means? Mangroves protect coastal areas from erosion. As you can see behind me, the mangroves have roots that are exposed. So how do the exposed roots reduce erosion? The sea used to come all the way up to there. Madam Pua, is that area also reclaimed land? Yes, that's a good question. The speed of the river slows down and sediments begin to accumulate, forming land mass. What are the land masses known as? Shelly? Deltas? Yes, that's right. Do you understand the subject better now? Yeah, I'll try to get C5 for the media exam. Just try our best, Shelly. Oh, Done. I still fail. You worked hard and made a big improvement. Isn't that more important? Keep up the good work, Shirley. you got so far from the video. I'm sure that you already share your reaction in our comment section. And I'm also sure that you are ready for our next activity which is what I know. So we have here 15 questions or 15 items to answer and using your answer sheet or use your answer sheet in answering these uh, questions or in answering this activity. Good job everyone! You did great in answering this activity. I'm sure that after going through or after answering the activity, you are ready to have the next one. Everyone has a different view on education. Like uh, the movie clip or the video clip that we have watched, you might have also different uh, views or different understanding on it. So like a student or like a teacher, so both have their different understanding or both have different views about education. Because like what I've said, education may have different connotation depending on how individuals look at it. In this activity, what's in? So we have here the flower chart. So you are going to write your ideas or concepts about education. And don't forget to submit your uh, work or your activity in our next retrieval day. As we go along with, with our discussion, kindly bear in mind the following questions because we are going to talk about the distinction or the difference between non-formal or between formal and non-formal education. Like what I said, as we go along with, kindly bear in mind the following questions. We are getting closer. In this part of the video, we give you something to read for you to deepen your understanding about the topic. 
the meaning of education, types, functions, and its importance. The meaning of education. Education or education, the act or process of imparting or acquiring general knowledge, developing the powers of reasoning and judgment, and generally of preparing oneself or others intellectually for mature life, according to uh, dictionary.com. However, education as a social institution has a different meaning. Dr. William Lill, 2014, held that education is a social institution through which a society's children are sought basic academic knowledge, learning skills, and cultural norms. Furthermore, the word education is derived from the Latin word educare, which means to train, to rear or bring up. Hence, it plays a significant role in transferring culture and social norms among members of the society in the process of training and various modalities of educating. According to Alvin Toffler, an American writer and futurist, his quotation is very uh, popular. He quoted that the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. I will repeat, according to Alvin Tuffler, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read, and write, but those who cannot learn and unlearn and relearn. So this marks the highlights of the extensive journey that occurs in the field of education. The next one is the system of education in the Philippines. So among you, so what do you know about the system of education in our country? There are two types of education in the Philippines. The first one is the formal education and the second one is the non-formal education. So let us define first what is a formal education. Formal education refers to the standardized method of hierarchically structured and progressive schooling that corresponds to the general notion of elementary and secondary and tertiary level of education. Yet, only the primary and secondary level is compulsory to the students. In the educational system of the Philippines, the elementary and the secondary level is administered and supervised by the Department of Education. Elementary level is composed of kindergarten and uh, six years of primary education, whereas the secondary contains four years of junior high school and two years of uh, senior high school. So furthermore, the tertiary level is administered and supervised by the Commission on Higher Education or CHED. The actual years spent in this level depends on the curriculum of each course. It might be four years or uh, two years. So nonetheless, the formal education refers to an educational activity carried outside the structure of formal education. So one example of this is the Alternative Learning System or ALS overseen by the Department of Education. So ALS or ALS, non-formal education, happens outside the classroom, community-based, usually conducted at community learning centers, barangay multipurpose hall, libraries, or at home, managed by ALS learning facilitators such as a mobile teacher, district ALS coordinators, instructional managers at agreed schedule and venue between the learners and the facilitator. The functions of education in its importance. Whether formal or non-formal education addresses the various needs of various needs of this society, education also provides a productive citizenry and makes the self-actualization possible. Productive citizens are necessary for the improvement of the community. However, self-actualization refers to the desire of self-fulfillment or tendency of the human to become actualized in what is potentially. Again, 
education takes a vital part or vital part to achieve the self-actualization. We have the different uh, functions of education. We have uh, socialization, transmissions of culture, social integration, and social placement. So you may read the description of those uh, functions in your uh, module. So alongside, alongside with this uh, functions and importance or system of education is the legal uh, provisions of education. Because education as a human right, according to a uh, UN uh, website or the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 26. So, Section 1, everyone has the right to educate. Education shall be free, at least in the elementary and fundamental stage. Elementary, education shall be compulsory. Technical and professional education shall be made generally available and higher education shall be equally accessible to all on the basis of merit. Article 26, Section 2. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to strengthening or to the strengthening of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. Section 3. Parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that shall be given to their children. Well, in 1987, Philippine Constitution, Article Number 14, Section 1, the state shall protect and promote the right of all the citizens to equally education at all levels and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible to all. Section 2, Paragraph 2, the state shall establish and maintain a system of free public education in the elementary and high school levels without limiting the natural right of parents to rear their children. Elementary education is the compulsory for all children of school age. So because the right to educate is fundamental, it is none discriminatory. Everyone has the right to education regardless of race, ethnicity, social origin, gender, political preferences, or disability. It is also a vital human right in exercising all the other human rights. So meaning to say, the right of education class is fundamental and non-discriminatory. So, meaning to say, everyone is entitled, like what we have read, everyone is entitled to be educated. Whatever your race is, whatever your gender is, or your preference, okay? Your ethnicity, or the race, your status in life, whether you are rich or you're poor, everyone is entitled to be educated. Because according to the law, it is not a privilege. Education is not a privilege. It is a human rights. So therefore, everyone has the right to have a proper education, whether it is formal or non-formal education. So congratulations everyone for you are being enlightened. For you are being enlightened about the functions in the uh, importance of education. So we have learned from the discussion that uh, uh, it is not our privilege to be educated, but it is a human rights. Okay? It is the right of a person to be uh, properly educated, regardless of your gender or regardless of your race. So knowing the things or knowing all of those uh, functions and importance of education, we are now ready for our next activity. For our next activity, I am encouraging everyone to participate well. So kindly pay attention to the instructions that I am going to, or instruction, instructions that I am going to, give in every activity that you are going through. Okay, so you have uh, your module for our next activity. We have the concept mapping. What are you going to do with our activity? So you may read the instruction on our uh, first activity. Activity number two is word journal. So what are you going to do with this activity? You are going to think of one word, one word only, that best describe education for you. So, 
if you have already a word in mind, so write it on the top of your uh, journal activity or in your uh, activity number two. And then, along with it, write one paragraph containing maybe uh, four to five sentences describing the word you have chosen. So I hope you are uh, doing well watching this video and you are uh, doing well also answering your activity. So for the next activity, uh, we are going to harvest what we have uh, learned. So we have here the uh, activity harvesting. So uh, what are we going to harvest? We are going to harvest the understanding, our understanding of the lesson. For this is the part of what I have learned. So have here what you are going to write on this chart. Okay, so you are going to write on this chart what you have learned from the lesson. So what? You are going to write under this so what, the implications, okay? The implications of what you have learned from this lesson. And the last one is now what? How are you going to apply your understanding on the lesson being discussed, okay? So this activity is very interesting because you are going to put up everything in a piece of paper, everything that we have learned so far from the discussion. We are ready to our next activity or for our next activity, which is the Venn diagram. So many of you are familiar already with a Venn diagram. Oops. Before we continue, uh, don't forget to uh, take a photo of you while dancing and then uh, put it in our comment section. Okay. So now, so you are familiar already with a Venn diagram because it is one of the common activities that we encountered in some of the lesson. So what are you going to do with this Venn diagram? So we have a non-formal and formal education. You are going to write down the similarities and differences of non-formal uh, education. Okay, so using our uh, Venn diagram. Write your answer in your Venn diagram activity on a separate uh, a sheet of paper or in a separate answer sheet. And don't forget to include that in uh, your answer sheet and submit that in our next retrieval day. So we are now on the last part of our activity and congratulations because you are still uh, tuning in or you are still uh, watching our video. So this time, we are going to have your part, okay? So knowing the things that you need to understand, the functions in the uh, importance of education. So let's have our commitment or the pledge of commitment. So what I can do or what you can do. So write your commitment or your pledge on how you become a productive citizen, okay? How are you going to, to do that? Uh, in your module, Okay, so in your module, you have there the Pledge of Commitment. So I, then you state your name or you write your name, then commit myself, then write your commitment. What are you going to, to commit in order for you to be a productive citizen of this uh, country? Okay, then so that state your reason, state re your reason why you are going to commit that commitment or pledge that commitment. Okay. So, we are almost done. We are almost done, learners or grade 11 learners. So, we are already on the assessment part. So, what is this assessment part? As a recall of the assessment part, when we say an assessment part, <clears throat> so this is, the assessment part is the task which aim, which aim you to evaluate. Okay, to evaluate your level of mastery on the lesson. We are going to evaluate your mastery of the lesson, whether you really understood the lesson or not. So, we have here the 10 item uh, assessment and answer it with uh, honesty or answer it honestly. Don't look at the key to correction at the end of this module or at the end of your module. Instead, try to answer it by yourself. Okay? So that you will be able to know whether you master the subject or whether you have to undergo learning again or reading again the uh, module. Finally, we are done. Okay, So we are on the second part. Okay, So the second to the last activity for this module, which is the additional activity because we still have the bonus part. 
Okay? So what are you going to do in this uh, additional activity? So you are going to have or to react, okay? You are going to react on the headline and newspaper entitled Education is a Human Right and Not a Privilege. Like what I've said earlier, education is not a privilege but it is a human right. So that is the uh, title, okay? So that is the headlines in the newspaper. What are you going to do is you are going to write, okay? you are going to write a, a story a news story okay so you are going to write a news story so uh, go back to the lesson of uh, a newsletter okay so in your uh, English subject in order for you to answer this activity so rubric is provided for this particular one to end our lesson which is the final task okay or the bonus part you are going to create the uh, video or the blog Okay, so one of the most uh, exciting part, okay, so that is creating your own video or creating your blog. So in this activity, you are going to uh, write, or no, no, not to write, but you are going to produce a video clip like the one that I've showed you earlier, okay? So you are going to include in your video clip the importance, the importance of education. So why it is important to one's life? why it is important to you. So, you may do in partner, okay, or in collaboration with your classmate. You can uh, call or you can chat your classmates or classmate or you can do it by pair or you can do it by group. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so, but be sure to limit the participation up to four members in, in each group if you are going to do it by group. But then you also, you may also do it uh, by yourself. You may ask your uh, parents, you may ask your uh, uh, sisters or brothers or uh, members of the family to be part of your video clip. Remember, in your video clip, you must have to show the importance of education, why it is important to you, why it is important to the people around you. So, but before, but before you create this uh, video clip or video, uh, this vlog, before you create a vlog, uh, don't forget to go over on the rubric provided in your uh, module. So, the one that we sent to you when you get the module last time. So, I included there the rubric for creating a vlog. Okay, so that you will be guided in creating this uh, or in creating the video. Okay. So, for the final and for the last one, this is only a bonus one. So, I will be uh, putting the link in our description box, okay? In our comment box. Uh, where can you find that description box? Uh, you click the title and you will be able to see there, okay? So, that's the description box. If you click the title of this video, okay, uh, there will be, you will be able to see there the link. The link of a movie entitled Front of a Class. Okay? So, I hope you will enjoy this movie because it will uh, teach you or it will teach us a great lesson in life. Uh, it will help you value education the most. If others can, this video or this movie will help you understand, will help you value the education and why it is important to us. Thank you and congratulations everyone and God bless. Bye-bye. This is again Sir CJ, your Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics teacher. See you.